Hey guys, today I'm preparing for the first time Iferrera soup. And so these are my ingredients. I'm going to be blending up some of these tomatoes along with my garlic and onion and scallion. I got some palm oil here. I got some smoked paprika, some chili flakes. I have some smoked shrimp and my all-purpose Maggi. This meat was cooked earlier. That's some migusi over there, which I won't be using today. But so I got all my ingredients here. I got me some um, spinach and okra. So I got the oil on the stove. And those things that you see in there, guys, that's going to be melted. It's oil that's formed. So I got my chopped onions, which I'm putting in the pan. And I'm going to be cooking these for about, I don't know, let's say three minutes just till they're translucent so i'm going to be cooking them i'm going to continue to stir them so that they don't burn and i do use i have this cooking on medium heat all right so there we are we're stirring our onions now after that we're going to be adding in our which i didn't show i blended the tomatoes with peppers garlic and some scallions so i'm adding in a couple spoonful of the serving spoon that is and yeah that's about three three serving spoons of uh, my blended peppers and tomato so i'm going to continue to um, stir if you don't keep stirring you will most likely burn it so you got to continuously stir so there we are cooking our sauce and now i'm gonna be adding in my seasoning i have I'm coming in with some maggie all-purpose there you go all right and then i'm gonna be adding in some salt listen guys i don't do a lot of salt so you do to your taste so i added in a bit of iodized salt and then I continue to stir some more then I'm gonna be going in with my um, smoke shrimp all right so there you go we're adding in some smoke shrimp powder and what else did I add in here I believe I added some chili flakes cuz guys you know I like my spice so of course I felt like all that blended peppers wasn't enough so yeah we added in some um chili flakes and we continuously stir now that the gravy or the sauce has thick uh, there you go there's the chili flakes so now that our sauce has thickened up quite a bit what we're gonna do next is we're gonna add in our meat which like i said i cooked earlier so it was pre-cooked because i mean this process takes a minute I didn't want to be doing this on camera so i cooked that ahead of time all right so we're, we're just at we're stirring it together so the sauce could be added or to blend it in with the meats and then we are going to add us you can use some chicken stock if you choose i didn't have any i ran out so what i'm going to be adding to this is i'm going to be adding in um uh, water I'm gonna be adding some water to mine well actually you know what I did I added a bit more salt because I didn't have enough in there so and then I'm gonna add my water and let this not a lot of water and then let this simmer for a bit and guys another thing that I added in I covered this after and let it simmer and then I came back in with some okra the thing is I love okra I just don't like my food slimy I can't do it so I didn't cut the okra I put about five of them in the in the pot and I didn't cut them because if you cut them they're gonna become slimy and I actually put them in like towards the ending of everything because I like them not to be too soft all right so I add those in stir the pot some more so everything can just you know blend together and then I came in with my spinach guys 
after I add the spinach in the pot I'm gonna leave this to simmer for or to steam for about let's say about three minutes or so because uh, you know spinach cooks quick all right so I covered the, I put all the spinach in then I covered the pot and I let it steamed the spinach steam for about three to four minutes then I come back and I stir my veggies in with the meat and everything together and guys this is what it's looking like doesn't it look good yep I cannot wait to try this I seen someone's video on YouTube I'm gonna add her name she prepared this dish three years ago and I thought whoa and the reason why I actually wanted to pre prepare this dish is because I seen someone else eating this and I thought oh my god how can I prepare this because she didn't show a um, you know a tutorial of how she prepped it so let me tell you I found this person and I thought whoa this is it she added other stuff to hers all I have in mind is um, lamb meat and cow foot and that's all I added I believe she added other like stockfish and all that I'm not really a big fan of the stockfish maybe I just didn't cook it right the very first time but this is what I'm doing and so guys look at that what do you think doesn't it look amazing I think I did a great job for a first timer yay yay to me <laughs> Now I go over to prepping my food food, which is plantain and oats. So I've already blended them. And so now I'm cooking it on the stove. I'm going to keep stirring and, you know, keep stirring it with the wooden spoon. I covered it for about five minutes. And then, voila, there is my plantain oats foo foo. And there is our Ferrero soup i'll see you guys in the mukbang i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching have a good one